Hello everyone, Quint here. I hope everyone is doing great today. Today I'm coming at you with a product review from Spigen. It's not super exciting product per se. However, it definitely solves a problem that I've been having uh, and that I've been trying to look for. And this is a uh, stand. So this is a charging stand for your Galaxy Watch uh, 5 Pro or 5, I guess it is. And uh, yeah, this is the Spigen S353. It's an odd name, but I've been looking for uh, uh, some kind of system for my watch's uh, charger because, you know, right now uh, the only like chargers that offer the fast charging are is the Samsung. So you can only buy these um, particular pucks, like the three-in-ones, uh, the Samsung three-in-one chargers that you can put your Galaxy Watch on, or any of that kind of stuff is uh, not fast charging. And frankly, once you get used to fast charging, you want to have fast charging all the time. So I've been using this exclusively um, with my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro to fast charge because um, just about every day I throw it on the charger, you know, when I'm getting ready in the morning, taking a shower and stuff. And man, that be, that has working been really well as fast as it charges. I have not had any issues with the, um, you know, battery at all. It just keeps going when I charge it like that. But uh, this one's kind of a pain in the butt to put on. Um, if you, if you know what I mean, uh, I don't know. You got to kind of slide it in there. I mean, it's not difficult. Don't get me wrong, but it's super, depending if I'm wearing a case, what kind of band I have on, uh, it can be a little wonky. Uh, so I just wanted something I can just drop the watch onto. And because there's not been any stands or anything like that made for it yet, I, I saw these and I've seen these before. Uh, but most of them are kind of cheesy looking, but I saw this one that actual Spigen itself, uh, who's a, you know, pretty well-known brand has made one. So I thought I would buy this guy and see if this is going to solve my problem. But, uh, and I thought I'd give that share it with you. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got here. So it's got some, Spigen must have like a, like a design team that just makes these boxes. Everything I buy from Spigen seems to come into this kind of box. All their watch bands and everything else is this kind of squarish box. So uh, let's pull this part here. Up we go. Sorry. I right, got this little pamphlet here with some instructions. I'm gonna go with no instructions on a charging stand. It should be pretty easy for me to figure out. All right, here is the stand itself. And what else we got in here? Well, we got a little doodad in here, so we'll have to figure out what that doodad is. All right, so here is the stand. It's, it's like a rubbery plastic, kind of soft, uh, kind of bends over. Uh, it's got a little Spigen branding right there in the front. And let's see, we got this on the bottom. We'll take a look at this here in a second to see if that's like super sticky or what that is. But this can be handy if, if you're gonna permanently put it somewhere. You can you know, stick it on there so when you drop your watch on there, it um, doesn't move. So you want to be able to not have it to move. So super simple. I've, I've used, I've seen something like this before. So let's see if we can quickly and easily install our charger. So we want the charge face forward. Let's see what we got here. Looks like it's just got some grippy feet in there. And let's see, we got to put it in there. You got a left or right, depending, I guess, if you need that to come out of the left or if you need it to come out of the right. We're going to go with this side first. And boom. <laughs> that was super simple. Okay, and then you look at it from, oh, that looks cool from the front. So, yeah, I like the way they did that. So that is nice and, um, yeah, that looks good. Kind of blends right in there you would never guess that uh it wasn't actually built in but i like that so then you stick it down here and then let's see what happens here we're going to take my watch off real quick quick accessory update again it's the ldfas uh leather band with the ring k uh inner bezel looking good good looking watch man uh let's see pull this off here and then you just sit it right in there there you go that's it. Uh, I don't have it plugged in, obviously, guys, so it's not going to actually charge, but we know the uh, Samsung puck is going to charge it just fine. That is just way easier to do, just to drop it on there, and then instead of, like, trying to fish that cable and stuff in there. And if I got a case on there, 
Um, or if I got a band that is, just opens like my link bands, uh, they don't actually open, right? Uh, so you got to kind of fish it in there. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like that. Boom. All right. Good deal. Let's see here. This little doodad. Um, I bet you your money it's a shell. Yeah. Let me check real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. So it is a silicone pad that you can stick. It's got some double-sided tape on there, it looks like. And you can sit that in there. And so if you have the smaller watch, um, so if you have a, a smaller watch, I guess, that would still work. And it still works with this one. So that's interesting. So I'm assuming if you have a smaller watch, you would want that on there. But I'm going to take it off because a lot of times I got that big, bulky Spigen uh, ring K subcase case on there. Uh, so I'm going to need that extra space uh, on there to check it. And you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's check that real quick. I have right now, I don't have my um, Spigen sitting in front of me, but I do have my T engine, which is about the same. Let's put this on and make sure that's going to work. The T engine has the softer plastic, and so it's actually a little bit easier to get in there and you can still see the bezel on the T engine, which I like. Anyways, I digress. So T engine, big one. Yep. That is going to also charge it, no problem. So as you can tell there, it's got that kind of big chunky thing in there. I would think that Spigen would make a make a stand that would work with a you know a case because they make a case for us. Uh, yeah. Yep. So that is good to go with a case on there. Very good. I like that. Let's take a look real quick at the sticky part here. So I'm going to peel this dude off and okay. It doesn't really feel sticky. That's good. So it's not like a sticker. Uh, if you stick it down though. Okay. Yeah, that is sticky. Yep. So that is sticky. Pop it right on there. Yeah. Oh, I like that, man. That's, yeah, that's going to, oh, this is going to be good. I'm going to really, <laughs> it's amazing how something as simple as a charger stand is going to make my life a little bit simpler. And, but it's still, if you, it holds, it holds, it's holding. And, but you can still peel it off. So it's not, I don't know, it's like a micro bubbly thing or something. I'm not real sure, but it works good. Looking good. That looks okay. So, yeah, there you go, guys. That is the Spigen Charger Stand. Uh, what's that funky number? The S353 Watch Stand. So, I am definitely going to enjoy this. Thanks for staying to the end. That's all I got for you today, and I will see you on the next one.